Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, I'm I'm in the in the process of making a video for October seventeenth. I'm gonna really really hammer down and try to focus on the video. The script is done. I need some editing, and then uh, and then after that, I will start making the video, and I'll have everything ready for midnight at on October seventeenth. Uh. To, uh, to release to you guys I think it's gonna be awesome and then uh, throughout the day I'm gonna go through the I'm gonna drive around Edmonton I'm gonna go through all the dispensaries I'm gonna record all the dispensaries in Edmonton I'm gonna, we're gonna be hunting down dispensaries in Edmonton on Wednesday and we, we're gonna record it for you guys and we're gonna show you guys all the dispensaries in Edmonton that's opened up it's gonna be awesome I can't wait. Uh, I'm very excited for October 17th. I think the video is very well done right now. Uh, we attempt to try to make it funny. We attempt to try to make it short and not long. This is not about money. This is about the celebration of October 17th. So I'm really, really focused on this project right now. And then I will also be giving the my what I what I made in this video to the monk wave. And hopefully he can come up with, a, uh, he can use my information and he can come up with his own in, uh, own video. So um, I'm very excited to announce this project. Um, this is just an announcement. I'm, I'm really, really, really aiming for an October 17th. I'm going to try to get it done. So this video right here that's on the Monk's page, that is the number one video that he has on his page. Only in two months, he's already got 81k views. Uh, I was a big, big part of making this video. The monk way came to me. He came. Uh, he was like, um, "I'm not too. I'm not too sure how to research Aurora cannabis." Uh, and then he gave me a script. Uh, and I was reading the script. I'm like, "Oh my god, there's so much in missing information in this." And I, I, I just like literally spent like the next hour just typing it in, typing it in, and then I sent it back to him, and then he was like, he thanked, he thanked me, and then he we went over the script and then added his own thing, and then he sent it back to me. I'm like, oh wow, this is a really, this is gonna be a really good video, uh, and then he made the video. He, he it took him a week. He released it. Uh, it was 13 minutes long. I'm surprised how long this video was. But uh, it was a, yeah, so, and like you could tell, like just from the views, the likes alone, 2.3k like. His second video, which was his second big, only has 811 likes. So that's crazy how many likes he got from his, you know, from uh, the difference between from his best video to his second best video. It's crazy. Um, so the investing hustler made a video about me. I think it's because of the title, but uh, I'm just sad that it's not like not a good video. Like it's not the one of the top view videos on on his channel. It's uh, because I thought it was a very good video. I th I think it deserves to be one of his top spot videos on uh, most popular uploads. I'm hoping him right right after the Warren Buffett video, the full uh, Warren Buffett interview video. I just hope I'm like right there, because who knows? Ten years down the road. This uh, ten years around down the road, people are gonna be watching this and be like, "Wow, this guy used to be a millionaire. Now he's a billionaire. Holy shit!" You know, like he did the impossible, because being becoming a billionaire is the impossible. It is the impossible. It's not very easy to become a billionaire. Uh, but I'm never gonna stop. I'm gonna keep trying, and my my members and my YouTube members that joined. They, they, some people know my story from the very beginnings. Some people just came in and don't know don't know it for, uh, very well. But uh, one day they can be looking back on all the channels, the the Monkways channel, the uh, Investing Hustler, and they'll be like, "Wow, uh, you know, this guy came out said he wanted to become a billionaire, and you know, this is his story." and now he's like, a, no, not ten years later, he could be a billionaire. I, I, I'm not saying I will be, absolutely not. But that's my goal. That's my aim. I'm hoping I get there one day. So, yeah. 
Uh, this, uh, so, for Aaron from Departure Capital, he, uh, basically, he uploaded this video, me, three days ago, we did a, we did a cl collab, and, uh, it's his best video, second best video on his channel, makes me happy, because, you know, people are gonna come back to this one day, and they're gonna be like, uh, you know, watching it and just be amazed uh, if his channel is still around in 10 years right like maybe i i don't know what my story is gonna lead 10 years down the road honestly guys i'm hoping i become a billionaire 10 years down the road but nothing's guaranteed in life even a hundred million dollars would make me happy but no i'm hoping i become a billionaire 10 years down the road hoping this is a hope so, uh, the government announces, uh, medical cannabis, this, okay, this is the real video that I want to talk about. The government announces medical, medical cannabis is legal in the UK on November 1st, 2018. For the first time in the UK, in the UK, experts, doctors have been given options to le legally issue prescription for cannabis-based medicines when they agreed their patients could benefit from this treatment. Because of this news, and you, I remember that how Namaste released the news not too long ago saying they acquired a... Um, oh, that's the wrong article. Oops. Camart... <laughs> uh, yeah, right here. Namaste signs a U, UK and EU uh, CBD supply agreement with Blue Sky Biologicals. This was announced on the Namaste Pledge Party. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, this is a UK and EU CBD supplier, right? So this is like this is the reason why Namaste stock rose because of this because of this news and the fact that they just acquired a company called Blue Skies. And yeah, that's why Namaste stock went up 18 cents. At least this is my only my opinion. I don't know exactly for sure why uh, why Namaste stock like arose. This is the only logic I can come up with. This kind of news, it makes sense. Uh, Namaste could go to 250. <coughs> uh, I was thinking maybe maybe I just put a foothold into this company. And you know, just in case that it would just keep rising, uh, and then if it, it lowers, then maybe I'll add more add to my position, because I feel bad not owning any shares of Namaste. It just I, I feel weird not owning any Namaste shares. I want to own some Namaste shares, just some, not a big amount. And then if it ever drops big, I'm gonna I'm gonna add to my position. Um, Aurora, Aurora also rose too, and. Because of that news, why? I'll show you why. Remember the Canamed acquisition? Oh wait, what the oh yeah. Remember the Canamed acquisition? Uh, forty thousand patients, six facilities, two hundred forty thousand kilogram, uh, seven hundred million dollars in cash in marketable securities on a pro forma basis. Uh, right here it says, E European Union LOI with Sesco Pharma to mark. C Med's medical cannabis brand. So, Canamed had connections with the European Union. So, like the UK, I believe. I believe that this is the UK. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, Aurora is a big international company. So that's probably the reason why, like, uh, the stock hit, their stock price went up because. Aurora is a big international company. At least this is the only logic I can bring. Uh, I can think of why Aurora stock rose almost nine percent uh, that day. That's crazy. Okay, you guys can leave now. But uh, I just want to tell you guys that like life is extremely difficult. Like my YouTube channel uh, revenue is declining. I'm gonna be losing this. I think I can average out about. Fifteen hundred dollars a month. It's not gonna be three thousand dollars, so it's gonna be half of this. But um, oh well, whatever. I mean, it, the uh, the stock market mastery course is kind of making up the difference. I mean, life is difficult. Uh, and then let's let's save uh, 
So, I just want to tell you guys that I, um, uh, right now we have 95 members, uh, and it's only been 14, 13 days since I launched the program, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but, no, it's still, it's still difficult. Let's say, let's say if I made, right, right now, 95 people, calculated. 20 times 95. I'm making about $1,900 a month. The reason why this number is so big is because some people were paying me for the full year. Uh, but I'm averaging out about, about $1,900 per, per month off of the stock market membership group. And then I'm, I'm averaging about $1,500 off of uh, YouTube. It depends. I mean, it could pick up again, but uh, right now I'm going to... I'm gonna put my expectation low. I don't know why. Like my my channel is just the views has been decreasing, not as much active. I mean, I guess the the whole exciting coke news really pumped up my channel, and then now it's kind of like declining in declining mode. But whatever, that's life. Maybe when October seventeenth comes out and exciting news comes out, maybe the views and the the views and revenue will boost. But you know that's that's business. Like you can't expect high growth. To maintain itself f consistently, right? It's gonna have to eventually stabilize and decline. That's just like a small little burst of excitement, and then now it's back to decline mode. Oh well, I mean that's a business. My business is not gonna. I'm not gonna expect three thousand dollars a month. But you know, you got to say like one thousand nine hundred plus one thousand five hundred, three thousand dollars. It's okay, three thousand dollars a month. Maybe like let's say the end of October. I started ramping up to five thousand dollars of revenue. So five thousand. Let's say for, throughout this entire year, I average around seven thousand. Seven thousand, maybe six thousand. No, seven thousand. Let's just put easy seven thousand. I average about seven thousand a year for this entire year. Let's say it, like it gradually went up as like my business starts ramping, and then by the you no know, by the end of by my by the end of the year, I'll, I'll ramp up to like seven. 7,000, 7,000 times 12, that's $84,000. So $84,000 and then what, what? what's the government gonna tax me? $20,000, $30,000? So let's say the government taxed me $30,000 off that $84,000. 84, this is an estimate, minus $30,000. So that leaves me $54,000. My corporation has, I think, $800,000 right now. It could, I could be wrong. It could be off. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, su I should update my uh, members about my portfolio every week. I forgot about that. But I'll update you guys. I think it's like in the 800000 Uh $54,000 a year to an $840,000 portfolio. That's not very much. This, like, if I really want to get my, my corporation going, I need to wrap this revenue up higher. I need to find more ways to make money. I need to find, diverge my business from just stock market membership and my YouTube. I need to do some Amazon affiliated marketing, find different ways to f make money online and ramp that revenue to over 200K uh, a year. And then on top of that, I'm, I, I need to be really skillful when it comes to trading. I need, I can't make any fuck ups. I can't, you know, I have to, I can't make any fuck ups. I have to find more big winners uh, in order to achieve that $5 million revenue by, um, by, you know, in a few years. I'm hoping I can do it in a few years because my goal is to, you know, you know, that's my goal. I hope that in 10 years I could become a billionaire because I want to enjoy being a billionaire versus being an old fart when I'm like 50 or 60 and not really care about it anymore. I want to be a billionaire in my 40s, you know? Like, that's my goal in life. Like, in ten, uh, nine years from now, I'm hoping I can become a billionaire so I can enjoy life a little bit more and also get a bodyguard because people are probably going to try to... Uh, kidnap me or something <laughs> but uh, uh like right now i'm not worth kidnapping because uh because you know they can they can go to jail but once i become a billionaire oh there's gonna be some heist going on for me <laughs> maybe maybe i should get a bodyguard when i'm like 
in the hundreds or in the tens of millions, you know? <laughs> this is just a little joke. But anyways, I really got to wrap this uh, this revenue up for my business. I mean, like, even if they like, kidnap me, it's my business that's, like, a lot having a lot of money. It has shareholders and it has, like, people and shit, you know? Like, why, why like, attack me? <laughs> this is a joke. I'm no, this, I'm not joking. This is kind of half serious, but uh, it's always on the back of my mind that you know one day somebody breaks into my house, you know, kidnaps me and attempts to rob me of my money. Would that would be great? I'd and if I survived that, I'd come back on YouTube. But I just got kidnapped, guys, and uh, they let me go because we worked it out. <laughs> Oh man, that would be uh, hilarious if that happened. Uh, okay, well, anyways, um, oh shit. Yeah, I just gotta say, I gotta really ramp up that revenue before things look positive. Uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. If you dislike this content, please give me a thumbs down. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.